They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. Excuse this bandana. Um, I have Miss Sealy braids going on underneath this, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm trying to get more serious about my content and my creation. I think that every time that I do a video, I try to do a little something new to kind of just test the waters, see what I like, etc., etc. And so, um, for those who do not know, I do want to become a full-time content creator. I would love to be able to create for a living and make a decent living off of creating. But we all know that it is a very long process because it takes some time to build a community. It takes some time to have consistent growth. It just takes time. And my, I'm okay with that. But I will say is that right now, in the state of being a small YouTuber or a small inspiring YouTuber, I'm struggling between doing what I want to do versus doing what's popular. I've grown to dislike the popular, I guess the popular videos on YouTube. Like I don't really like the pranks or the challenges. Like I, I can watch them, but it's just not the type of YouTube that I want to do. And I also, I spoke about this in I think two videos back, but I also don't like cliche vlogging when you basically explain every little detail of a clip or whatever situation you're going to I don't like you know real I really don't know how to explain that type of vlogging but I don't I don't like cliche vlogging so I thought that for this video I could kind of point out some of the things that I don't like about YouTube as well as do it which is seems like a hypocritical thing to do but I need content so but yeah this isn't to say this is what I want my channel to be about but it's just to you know have fun and just show you guys my efforts of trying to do this thing for real so um it's a very gloomy day um I'm about to get ready because my cousin is coming here around like three because we're going out today hanging out a little bit and so first I need to clean my apartment and is it really a YouTube video if you don't do a cleaning montage <laughs> Yesterday, like I said, my cousin, she came over. Um, we went to D.C. We got something to eat. We didn't do anything extravagant. Um, however, she doesn't like to be in the vlogs. So, I didn't put her in there as much. So, you can't be a YouTuber without vlogging where you go and what you eat and what you're doing. So, here's a clip from that.
another I guess genre of YouTube that um, people typically do is get ready with me's I'm about to put on some makeup some real quick makeup so hi guys welcome to my makeup tutorial it's like no I'm just playing I am not in any shape or form qualified to do any type of makeup tutorial because my products are straight garbage look at that garbage however you know I do like putting on makeup and I make it do what I do when I do put it on you know I just try to make the best out of what I have and you know get cute get glowy get dewy you know I know a little bit but yeah um, yeah So I forgot to show you guys my YouTube voice because you can't be a real YouTuber unless you have a YouTuber voice. So, <coughs> <coughs> hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you what's in my bag. I don't carry around a purse, so I'm going to show you what's in my work bag. So I'm not about to do the whole segment like that, it's just I think those type of YouTubers, first of all kudos to you because I don't think I've ever had that type of energy but um, that's just not me and honestly this segment isn't me, I don't like doing what's in your bag, it boggles my mind that this is an actual thing but I find myself watching three to four videos of what's in my bag so clearly it's something in us that likes to know what's in people's bags so all right my work bag hold on i need a thumbnail so perfect okay so i really don't like i said i don't carry around a purse because i just anybody got time for that so it's basically my essentials <laughs> chapstick Lotion. Hand salve. Because your girl doesn't like to be crusty. My work badge. My work phone. And most importantly, well, not the most important, but a few pads, because I'm a pad girl. Hand sanitizer, because there's so many viruses going around, I can't even keep my head straight, so. Uh, my Alkoids, zoom in on that baby, because stank breath is offensive. Let's see what else I got in this bad boy. My focus. My wallet, of course. This is in there, but I don't typically carry this around. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this in my cube, so yeah. Always have to bring an extra charger because if you don't have a charger, what is you doing, baby? Don't nobody want a dead phone at work, and that's stamp. That's on God. Am I a YouTuber yet? I got my good sis here, Sydney. So basically my video this week is about becoming a real YouTuber <laughs> and I'm basically doing cliche type YouTube videos like get ready with me, clean up monologues, yeah what's in my bag and basically you know the typical vlogging. So I want to hear from you on what you think is the hardest part of being a creator. So I wanted to get it from this angle because this is a conversation. We're talking to each other. Uh -huh. But um, so yeah, what do you think is the hardest part of being a creator? Contracting your audience, and then for me, it's just like staying consistent. I like to film the videos. It's just been some time to editing and then uploading. I don't like doing all the stuff. Mm -hmm. like just like it's like the energy you gotta. Because yeah, my energy. whole thing is. One thing can like knock me off and yeah. I'm not posted for at least a month. Exactly. exactly. And on top of that, like if you want to be a YouTuber, I think consistency is definitely key. Mm -hmm. 
but at the same time, like I said earlier in the vlog, but I'm struggling between doing what I want to do versus doing what's popular. Yeah. Because it's like, what's popular is so crap to me. Yeah. I mean, I watch the crap because I'm a loser and I have nothing else to do with my life. But I don't want to be that type of YouTuber, so I'm like struggling with what I want to do. Do you know the direction? Oh yeah, you guys know. She has a channel. I'm going to pop it up here somewhere over here. But, um, do you feel like you know the direction of your channel? Like, what you want to do? Like, for or? Not really. Right now, I'm filming, like, a week in my life vlog. You didn't say all that, but you was like it was going to be a work day. That's what I thought it was No. Oh, it was going to be a work day, but then, like, I got that headache, and I was like, oh, I'm going to You said a vlog like, a week. Yeah, it turned into a week in my life. Uh, it was a mess. I was, like, about to cry at work. Yeah, I just, I don't know. This YouTube thing is real, y'all. It is real. And I always tell you all the time how, like, I'll be at work watching a certain somebody's vlog and mm -hmm. I fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. It happened again on Friday. Like, yeah. I was just watching her on vlogs, doing emails, and then she got boring, y'all. And I blinked, and, like, a minute had passed. And I yeah. dozed off. I don't want anybody to watch my videos and be like that. Oh, I already know I'm in that status. <laughs> I was looking at but my you're average. Entertaining though. Like literally Girl. when I watch you, like I laugh. Like Thanks, homie. <laughs> and then oh yeah, if you guys haven't watched her recent vlog, sis is traveling. Oh, yeah. She's a travel yeah. girl. She and she's vegan. So if you're vegan and you like to travel and you kinda stuck between you don't know what to <laughs> eat out there. This is your girl right here, I'm telling you. Having but, international travel 2020. We stepping yeah. it up. Bruh, that would be crazy if you can't find vegan food out there. I would cry. You be eating fruit. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh my cry. God. I'm so hungry. I'm like, I told you. It's too much going on in the world for me to want to go out there. It's too people got too much dip on that chip. You we'll know see. what I'm saying? I hope I hope I'm putting myself out in these Girl, streets. Girl, after I saw that video with that worm being dug down her arm, I was like, oh, okay, so So we sent each other weird stuff all the time all on the group time. chat with Tyler. Or it'll just be me and Asia. If it's like too too mm -hmm. weird for Tyler, like, oh, I'm just sent to Asia. Mm -hmm. I had sent them like usually I don't like like poor abstractions but I sent it to them last night and it was like mm -hmm. disgusting mm -hmm. and then Asia sent uh, a larva <laughs> coming out of somebody and it wasn't like so it was a little teeny hole I'm like oh, okay maybe it's gonna be a little yeah. no nah, y'all it was this big fat and those yeah. three of them I and sent it to Ari and Ebony too <laughs> and I was watching feet videos so they don't hurt and Tyler don't really like watching feet videos oh so yeah no, some things no, I no. Can, cause these feet like somebody had um was it gangrene? And he had to get his toes cut off. So. The whole thing I don't like is the, the um, what's that stuff, the, the callus? Oh, well, yeah. I, I love that. I'm, gonna just be I'm just off. like, boo, how did you let your feet, and I'm starting to like inspect my feet. This is totally off topic right now, and I probably will keep everything in because I need content. But, yeah, um, I've been trying to like focus on keeping my feet dry. You know it's winter, and like, my feet was a mess. It's like you get crusty, you're like yeah. automatically. Like yeah. I feel like I wake up, well I always wake up crusty and dusty, but I feel like it be in the afternoon and I'm like, dang, I'm crusting over. Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. But long story short, <laughs> we're about to go out to eat because that's what we do or whatever. Yeah. If you guys have any advice on what we can post or what we can talk about, because I want to get into more discussions. I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate more of that into my channel, but Oh, uh, one more thing, one more thing. Mm -hmm. I had sent you that girl that one that just said she was pregnant, mm -hmm. and I'm watching her video. She just probably started posting like six months ago, and she's like, she was really disappointed because she only has four thousand subscribers, and she was like expecting like a hundred thousand. I was like, and then that's another <laughs> thing. Like, I don't like to tell people how long I've had my channel because it's just like, sis, you're not even at a thousand. You've been going on this junk girl. I'm three hundred at a hundred. So girl, it's like. <laughs> It, I mean, honestly, and this is the last piece I want to, it's a very humbling experience because at the end of the day, it's no guarantee that you're going to make it. Like, we're yeah. literally just doing this because it's something we that like we enjoy. It. It. Yeah. yeah, we enjoy it. And I mean, even sometimes it's not even enjoyable because it takes so much energy yeah. to get content and then have the energy to edit. Yeah. And so, even if you like it, which is crazy, but yeah, um, this this journey is going to be wild. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. But 2020 going to come up. We we're going to make progress this year. We're going to put Amen. effort. We're make progress, and we're going to see results. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for watching. If you're watching, please. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <laughs> please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll. Ooh.
and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. I feel like I'm drunk all the time.